Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and what I like to call a basic workflow, this is a very simple part, there's no like magic steps of this design, I just want to show what I like to call good practice, maybe not the best of the perfect but I want to avoid bad practice in Fusion because I do that in some videos, because I like to do strange and stupid stuff. And the intent of this is make a couple of these basic shapes. I mean, if you think this is interesting, please leave a comment or a thumbs up so I know that you want more like this. And I will also do some more strange, stupid stuff. But let's start with this here. I have a drawing. Let's full screen this. If you want to, you can do a screen capture and save this. There are multiple ways of doing this. It's a quite simple shape, we like a fork shape. It has a U shape here. We have a cylinder that's connecting. We have some cutouts down here. And I've done this really bad drawing of everything. So this is not like a perfect drawing. The thinking I made of this drawing is this is measurement that's easy to measure in the real world. So you get something like this in your hand and we want to recreate it in Fusion. So I like to measure like outside dimensions. 65 here, 40 millimeter width or from flat face to flat, uh, flat face to flat face. And we have like the width here and the width here is 20 and so forth. But these dimensions might not really be important for the design intent. It might be that the distance from the center pivot here down to the flat face here is important or that the gap distance between here is important. So if these are, you can redo this. I will use the dimensions in this drawing here and do design. But if you want to do the other way around, so you like to prioritize dimensions like the width here, which should be uh, the outside is 40. And we have 6 plus 2, that's 8, and with both sides 16. So that should be 24 millimeters from here to here. And if we want to use that 24 millimeter as a design intent, we need to get that into Sketch and drive other dimension and features from that. If we do it other way around, we start with 40, and we do this. The dimension from here to here is the result of all the steps we make, and it can be really hard to edit. That's why we often ask when or you ask a question on Facebook and you, the first question you get is what is your design intent? And that is to try to figure out what dimensions are important in the final product. Or are they not important? Yes, use the outside dimensions. In this case, we're going to use the dimension in this sketch. So I'm going to zoom down and open Fusion once again. I have already saved a new file here. We're going to move things around a bit like this and open up the drawing here. Zoom in so we can see most of our dimensions like that. So we have Fusion here. I have saved the file. This part here will most probably be part of something bigger, assembly. So I will create a component. New component. Let's just call it fork like that. Open up a browser. Uh, components are a vital part of assemblies. If you don't know why you do it, just do it for now. It's really good to have, have a habit of always creating components. That's a discussion for another video. So let's go back and have a look at our design. What do we have here? We have a U-shape and we have, so I'm, I'm starting with the big shapes. I forget about these holes and the small two millimeter protruding here. And I forget about these cutouts here. So what do I have in front of me? I have a simple U-shape and I have a cylinder. And what is connected to what? Yeah, so this cylinder shape here is uh, terminating uh, towards this face here. That means I like to make this U-shape first. And then I can make this uh, cylinder or circle here and then extrude it up to this face. I don't need to do some extra cuts of that. So I start by doing this U-shape here. Let's have a look at the U-shape. The U-shape has a constant width. That means I don't need to sketch everything. I can simply just sketch. Let's see what is the dimension. The outside here is dimension. I'm going to sketch the outside shape of this U. And we have a high fear of 23 from down to here. So let's create a sketch. I'm going to start with a sketch from the front. I'm going to do a line. Uh, start the line. Down. I'm just going to hold down the mouse button so I get the arc shape and then I'll line up. If I'm lucky, I can get the tangent constraint here. Press escape to start the sketching. If I didn't get the, the constraint here, I'm going to delete it. We're simply going to add the constraint by hand by doing, uh, where are you? Tangent constraint between these two. 
uh, there are some parallel here. It's, it's up to you. You can change the constraint one yourself. I'm going to delete this parallel constraint here and switch it over to horizontal vertical. L for line. I need some more lines. I need a line. So I need to somehow constrain this centric above the region point. So I can make a line from here. And I'm going to find the midpoint of arc. And I'm going to make a line from here to here. These two lines is not part of something I've extruded to do, find me. so I'm going to make that construction geometry, and the same for this one. Going to need some more constraints, horizontal, vertical, of course. These need to be vertical. I want these to be horizontal. This horizontal line, of course, makes these two the same length. I could use equal. It's up to you what you want to use. And now let's add some dimension. D for dimension. Radian point up to here. That's the full height. We had that over here. So that is, sorry, I'm just going to remove all the numbers here. That was 65 millimeters. Things jumps on the wrong side. So I press escape and move things to the right side. So I know where I am. D for dimension one side. We are designing the outside. So the dimension from here to here is supposed to be 40 millimeters. And when then we have the high fee was 23. So this here is going to be 23. Oh, yep, correct. So let's see. We have 40 millimeters, 65 millimeters, and 23. Let's open our sketch. We have a fully defined sketch. Everything in the sketch is defined. Convenient sketch. Simple line. Uh, we don't need to sketch a constant with part because we can do that with the extrude command. So we're going to find our little extrude command. Switch over to fin extrude. Select the line. Going to slightly rotate the sketch around and just make it easier to see things. We want to make it work symmetrically, symmetrically around the radium points. So we're going to do this extrude symmetric. We're going to use the full whole length of the full width because that is given in our design. That was 20 millimeters. And of course, we need a thickness. We have wall thickness down here, and the wall thickness we do almost six millimeters. Have a look from the front so that we sign also make some correct size. So with uh, Phoenix 2, we can select to do it on one side of a line. We can do it centered of a line or the other side of a line. Of course, in this case, we want to be inside like that. Going to hit OK. Uh, I have turned off auto hide the sketches. My sketch is still visible. I'm going to hide it for now. So do I want to keep working? With? Yes, I like to add the rounds up here. So you can see I just extruded it flat. Going to hit F on the keyboard for activating fillets and make sure the type I do is full round fillet. And I'm going to move the mouse cursor over this face. You can see it highlights the uh, faces next to. This is the wrong direction of fillet, so I move it closer to this edge. That's where I want it. I want to do the same thing over here. Nothing happens. Hold down Control. And now we can also select this face here. Release. And this is correct direction. If something goes wrong, you see the push the X button over here if you happen to do this in the wrong direction. Press X, hold down Control to reselect and do like this. And we are made two uh, full fillets around the edge of on top. So we have made the basic shape of the U shape. We can now keep on working and adding this, uh, like these cuts here, but I like to make most on the outer shape of things before I move on. So I'm going to create a sketch. We prefer to do one sketch, uh, one feature. Uh, where did my region point go? I notice sometimes if, if there's some kind of bug when bodies in the way, sometimes the region point disappear. You can see if I look really straight on, it gets a bit confused. Just slightly tilt uh, your viewport and you can see things. Uh, what I wanted to say was that we like to do one sketch, one feature. Keep things very simple. In this case, we have here uh, two... Uh, the outside cylinder is 15, the hole is 8. I like to put both of these in the same. I'm going to type in the dimension directly. That is 15, one more circle, the C in the keyboard for circle. That's going to be 8. I like to put both of those. Oh, that's messy. Let's move the dimensions outside so they're easier to read. Often uh, rearrange your uh, dimensions so you can find them easier. So I have made both of these things, both outside and in one sketch, because they are. Yeah, they have the same part. I like to keep things clean. E for extrude. I'm going to select both of these. Distance. You could only set select the outside. I like to make the full body first. Distance, two objects. Select the face here. Hit OK. You can see 
the signal is very simply connected to the U-shape. I don't need to do any type of strange uh, split body or anything. Now we like to make the cut here, and the cut was, as you can see the 3D image also here, the cut is all the way through, E for extrude. This, I could select distance all, and we cut it all the way, but if something is up on the way here in the design, it might cut through that, so I'm going to do two objects, select the inside face here, and you can see it did the cut all the way, going to hit OK. Going to hide that sketch, I don't need it for now. Uh, so now we make like, this is like the outer shape of everything. Now we can start adding details. And I like to go back where I started. I started with the U-shape. So now I'm going to add the small features to the U-shape. And in this case are these two protruding parts here. And the hole for everything. Create a sketch. I'm going to make sure I try to put the sketches on my origin plane here. I would want to avoid placing sketches of faces. That's because if I by mistake, remove a face or something like that, things can go a bit strange. Uh, I need the center point of this here, so I'm going to hit P for project, and I'm simply only going to project the upper edge here, this arced edge, edge. Hit OK. When I project in an arc shape or a circle, you get the center point. I'm going to do a look at... Sorry. Oh, come on. Get him in here. I'm going to open up a browser so I can hide the body. This here is just to help me. So I'm going to turn that into construction geometry. And here, we have the center point. We're going to do two circles. Once again, they are 15 and 8. So C, that's going to be 15. Once more circle. This here, oh, sorry, that's going to be 8. The thing is, when you type in dimension that it places the dimension really close. If you do the dimension by hand, we can put them everywhere we want. Like I showed earlier, I like to take the dimension and move them slightly outside of so the ease. Oh, sorry. Oh, I have a wrong selection filter. I'm going to change that. Uh, like that, I'm going to move that out so it's easier to see. I'm going to finish sketch. Turn on my body. So I'm going to start by adding material before I do the cut, like the previous the cylinder. So E for extrude. Select both profile, and this now starts two millimeter from this. So I'm going to tell I want to start from object. Select this object, and the offset was two millimeters. So you can have a look uh, which direction. This can be confusing which way it jumps back and forth. In this case, it's jumping in the correct direction. And we're going to distance to object, turn around, outside face. Fusion assumes we want to cut away things. New, no, I want to join things. And of course, I'm missing the protruding 2mm, so I'm going to add an offset of 2mm like that. Hit OK. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to cut the hole. This I can simply just do to distance to object, outside face, and we cut all the way through. Going to hit OK. So we have made this on one side of our part. Now we like to mirror it over to the other side. So we're going to create, create a mirror. In this case, it's going to be, you can do a body faces feature so far. We're going to do a features, our two last extrudes. And we're going to mirror plane is going to be this plane here. Uh, you can do adjust or identical. You can adjust, recalculate everything. If this model is so small, that's no problem. It doesn't work. Sometimes, I don't know why mirror has started to behave strangely. If one compute option doesn't work, Good, I made this one. For some reason, it misunderstands something. It can be from objects. So I'm going to turn that into identical. And then it makes an identical mirror on the other side. You need to play around. This often happens when I used, if you remember, the extrude I made here. I'm using to and from objects. And Fusion gets a bit confused. I say readjust because these faces, faces doesn't exist on this side. That's why the mirror failed, I suppose. You have a better idea, please leave a comment. Hide this sketch. So we have made most part. We are like basically only lacking one part down here. Going to create a sketch on this plane here. Uh, we could project in the body, but if we, for some reason, I used the body previous for the arc, but in this case, I like to find it was this sketch. I want the outer edge of the cylinder. People, so I like to project from the original sketch. So if I change that sketch, this projection will follow along. Hit OK. I have a previous sketch. See the color is projected geometry. L for line. We're going to make the two lines straight over here. Make sure we can use ourselves. We get the horizontal vertical with one over here. 
like that. It has to be parallel. We can keep it this time. And of course, I want these to be symmetric around the center points. There's a symmetry constraint, but I'd like to prefer to do a line from midpoint to midpoint. Hit escape to turn, the turn off the line command. This line here, I'm going to do an into construct geometry and once again do a midpoint constraint. If this line here is constrained to the origin point by midpoint, these here will now stay symmetric around the midpoint. So D for dimension, these two, and the width here was 5 millimeter. Oh, sorry, when I move the mouse cursor outside, it loosen the highlights. So 5, enter, finish sketch, turn on body. So we're going to extrude this, extrudes 5 millimeters up, so E for extrude. Select our two profiles, and the distance was 5. Going to hit OK, I'm going to do a cut of course, hide the sketch. And we have a nice model. Yes, it takes a couple of steps, and I know some of you are going to say, oh, I can do that, do one sketch and half a feature. I um, don't have to mention that. Uh, we like to sometimes do that, but this is a very stable model. If we go back, we can easily see uh, where things are, things are wrong. We have a sketch. We do an extrude. We do one more. Uh, we do the fillet. Yes, we have a fillet here. So we can, okay, you're rounding off things. We're doing one more sketch, what's that? That's the bottom down here, we do an extrude, we do extrude cut, so we cut away the hole, we move up, we create another sketch, and that is sketch is for the uh, small protruding parts of U-shape. So we first make the full, full adding uh, parts to the body, we cut away, and we mirror over, you see the problem we have the mirror, and then we have a new sketch, I'm going to make the visible at the bottom, and we cut away with parts. So this is very easy to go back and edit if something doesn't fit together in your design. So I hope you have found some use from it, and we want more videos like this. Please leave a comment. With that said, take care, see you around, and goodbye.